Hey guys, this is Brian. I hope everything is safe and healthy with you wherever you are. Today, I want to show you how to do a Zoom-like virtual background using Microsoft Teams. This is my first attempt at doing a YouTube tutorial, so please be gentle with the comments on the production, okay? Now, as soon as COVID hit and we all started working remotely, I saw Zoom virtual backgrounds and I was like, I want to use these for all of my meetings. I want to be able to make myself look like that I'm working from the beach or maybe from one of our beautiful office buildings instead of here where I am at my in-laws house in a guest room. But here at Golan, we use Microsoft Teams for our internal meetings, not Zoom. And all I could find when I Googled for how to do this on Teams was a Microsoft forum post saying that they're planning to implement this kind of feature sometime in the next quarter. But I couldn't wait. So I learned about AR from my Golan colleague, Zach Tarvin, and set about trying to recreate that Zoom background functionality using Microsoft Teams. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So to do this, you need three apps installed on your computer, and this works both under Mac and under Windows. Uh, those three apps are Microsoft Teams, of course, the Snap Camera app, and the Snapchat Lens Studio. So let's get started <clears throat> by finding these pieces of software. So uh, Snap Camera Mac. So I'm going to go right here to download. Fill this stuff in, and you're good to go. The next thing then is Snap Lens Studio. Same thing, download, fill in the blanks, and you're good. All right, now the next thing is to set up our uh, Snapchat lens. So the, when you install, once you install Snap Camera, you get this little icon up here in the bar, um, and you go to Open Snap Camera and you can open up any of the lenses that they have. So if you want the matzo ball one, there's the matzo ball one. It's fantastic. Um, and if somebody sends you a link, like if somebody creates one for your office, for example, you just paste in that link right here, uh, and then you can use any of the ones that you, that you or your team have created. So that's kind of how you use uh, the Snap Camera. Now, within Microsoft Teams, you just go into your picture up here and then say Settings, and then under Devices, you change your camera from your uh, actual uh, web camera to be this Snap Camera. And now anytime that you have a camera lens effect turned on, it'll show but if you don't want to have any effect, you just say turn off right from that snap camera effect piece up here and it'll go away. All right, now I want to show you how to make your own. Okay, so this is the home screen of Snap Lens Studio. And you can see here in the middle of the screen is this whole section on recommended templates. You just want to go down and find the one called segmentation. This is the template. Basically, segmentation means that the, uh, the software is going to separate out you from the background. So um, on this one, you can see all of the wonderful um, default sample content they give you. Uh, but we're going to turn some of that off. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn off the background color. And then we're going to turn off the uh, tiling on the background image. So now we just have one big image behind this, behind you, your person. All right, now we need to add in our images. So we're gonna go down here to the resources and we're gonna say add new folder. We're gonna call this one backgrounds. Now from there, go into my finder here and find my picture. Here's a picture of the cafe at our Dallas office. And just drag it right in there. Now to put the uh, background on the background in the filter, I click on this thing that says segmentation controller, edit me. And see where it says image, image texture, heart? I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna change that to the Golan Dallas Cafe. And now I am more or less done. Now let's go back and let's go into project info and give it a name. So I'm gonna call this one Golan Dallas Cafe. Uh, and then 
the icon, you want to give it some sort of an original icon. So I'm going to go choose one's icon. And I'm going to change it to the Golan logo. And one of the cool things about the Golan logo is that it fits perfectly within that little circle and makes a little G out of it. So it looks real good too. And then from there, I'm going to go to Publish Lens. Golan Dallas Cafe. Ta-da! Hit Submit. And now this is one of my favorite things about um, Snapchat Studio, Snap Lens Studio, excuse me, versus um, the Facebook Spark, is that the Snap Lens Studio, the review is really quick. Uh, so I'm going to stop here um, and just come back to it in a few minutes, and it should just be totally set. So, and look, there it is. It's already ready to go. So um, now that it's there, I just hit this little arrow here and just say share. And there's the link that I can send to other people. And it's the link that I can use to use it myself. So I'm going to go into here, go right in here. And there it is. And here I am from the Golan Dallas office. So that's it. I mean, this isn't quite as smooth as it is with Zoom because as you can see, the snap camera doesn't do quite as good of a job with its segmentation as the Zoom camera does. But hey, you know, it's better than nothing. And uh, thanks for watching.